Hello, today we're going to be working on the audio tool Beatbox 8. It's up here underneath your synthesizers, that little plus sign there shows you where your synthesizers are. The 808 is the top left hand corner one. Um, there were, they call it the Beatbox 8, it's the Roland 808 in reality I suppose, but they couldn't do that because of copyright things. So uh, this is a simple drum machine, it works fabulous, it has very interesting sounds associated with it. Um, Right off the bat, let's go ahead and create some music with it. We have here um, beats one is the dark orange, beats two is light orange, beat three is yellow, and beat four is white. These are broken down into 16th notes. You can picture this being one single measure. Here's what I mean by that. If I click on beat one here, it turns it on. You see a little orange light come on. I hit space bar, and you get that little nice 808 sound. If I add more beats into it, it's beat two, beat three, there you go. So you got one, two, three, and then you can turn on the fourth beat. And you can go as far as reorganizing the sounds however you like. got a little pattern right there that pattern if you would like to use it in your timeline down below because like if you want to publish something from audio tool uh, like create an mp3 what matters is what's in your timeline not what's on your synthesizer we take that pattern by right clicking somewhere on the synthesizer it's got to be somewhere that's not an active button if I try right clicking on the buttons it doesn't work if I right click on the synthesizer you can copy pattern to track and now we have a little um, sample that we can work with. Uh, I can come back here at this point and do a couple of things. I can either change the pattern to pattern two, and that turns my bass drum off on here uh, that I just programmed in. And I can always come back to it by going back to pattern one. But if I go to pattern two, it turns it off. And then when I play what's in my timeline, I won't hear the synthesizer. Okay. If I want to hear more of that, I could always, let's say, go control click and bring it over, or I could extend out the sample by clicking on the end um, or drag it backwards through time. And now I've got something that I can use in my four bar loop. You see my little looping bar here, that little blue bar that shows me the section I'm working with right now. So it'll keep playing those four measures over and over again. See our timeline moving through measure two, measure three, measure four, and then it will repeat back to the beginning. Uh, you can always change that by clicking and dragging on it. You can extend out the repeats. Uh, you can also uh, turn it completely off, and then you could just get a straight shot through your song as well on the timeline. All right, another way that you could have done this, if you like, remember we could go back to our pattern one and we can turn it on turn on our bass drum here. Let me delete what's in our timeline. And now we're just hearing what's on the synthesizer. You can also go pattern clear. That's this red button right here. And that'll delete everything. If you make a mistake and you want to undo something, just remember you can always use control Z and that'll bring things back. Hold down control um, and then press Z while holding down control. All right. Uh, let's change that sound just a little bit. Um, let's see here. I'm going to copy pattern to track. Oh, you see what happened? I forgot to hit stop, so it copied it wherever my timeline was. I'll bring that all the way back here. You can always delete unwanted note tracks right there. Um, turn our looping on, hit stop, brings our timeline back. You can also click depending on where you want your timeline to go. And let's change the sound of the 808 right now. Under the 808, you have tone and you have decay. Tone will adjust things slightly. It's a very small change. Decay, you hear that reverb that's on it now, um, or the decay rather. Um, if you need it louder, 
can always come over here. You see it's not super loud right now, but the volume's turned up to max. We could increase the gain, but we could also increase the low. That works really well with the 808 uh, bass drum. And I'm watching my, you see that right there? We don't want that to get into the red zone. Yeah, we don't want our, our samples clipping, and that's when you see it, um, the sound bar is getting all the way up to the red dots. You'll get some clipping. You'll see it in your master volume as well. Um, that's how you know you've gone too loud. So we'll loop that until we can get that fixed. There we go. You hear how long it takes for that to die off with the decay turned up. Um, there's an individual level. You can always turn the, vo the volume on the Beatbox 8 right there. Yeah, you can also turn up the volume on the entire synthesizer. However, that will change all of the drums. All right, since we've got that copied into our timeline, you can see you can double click on it and you can see the individual notes there. You could zoom in. Uh, this is shows us where we are on our timeline. You can always move that around, zoom in and out. Um, let's add something else to it. Um, we could get that bass, bass drum going for a little bit here. Let's have, oh, let's see here, a snare drum. So I just have to click on the red dot and that'll change where everything is, uh, which instrument we're using. The snare drum also has tone and snappiness that you can change on it, but here's what the snare drum sounds like. Classic snare drum backbeat, maybe beats two and four. So I'll go to number five right there is the beginning of beat two. Number 13 is the beginning of beat four. Let's see how they sound together. So you can see you can change the tone a little bit. The snappiness you'll hear. Uh, slight changes in there. How much accent it gives to the snare drum is basically what that's doing. Okay. Uh, we can go through here. You have congas, toms, mid toms, high toms, low toms, uh, claves, rim shots. You can switch between which instrument it is by clicking the little dial there. Uh, clicking, dragging up and or down. Um, you got maracas, hand claps, cowbells, cymbals, open H hat, that's open hi hat, closed hi hat. So maybe we could throw a little closed hi hat into the sound as well. Now remember, I haven't actually dropped my snare drum into my timeline yet. Um, you can have more than one instrument go into your timeline simultaneously. So I'll go over here to the closed hi hat and I'll turn on maybe a little eighth note pattern here. I'm just turning on every other one. You see it's got a little glitch here. Sometimes the little buttons will flicker. take the snare drum and the hi-hat and we'll copy those patterns to track. All right, now we have a nice little classic drum loop. You're more than welcome to play around with all of these little functions in here. Uh, there's a few more things about this. You can change the, the length of the pattern. For example, we were working with the first 16, 16th notes, the first measure worth of music here. If you increase the pattern length, um, I don't recommend doing this until you get a little more advanced, but uh, if you increase the pattern length, for example, you could have, instead of 16, we could go to, let's say, 32 and have two measures worth. And then you could turn on the functions for the first measure and then switch this dial to the second group of 16 notes, um, 16th notes number 17 through 32. That's basically the second measure worth of music. Um, and then you can, uh, you can program in more than just one measure of music at a time this way. Okay, we're going to clear everything, get that reset. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on the Beatbox 8. I um, hope you get to use it to great effect. All right, have a good one.